Here we have a circuit with current passing across two contacts. Let's now look at what happens when we pull the contacts apart and disconnect the electrical supply. As the two contacts separate, the electricity wants to keep on flowing, so it ionises the air in between them, and an electrical arc will be formed. This is the same type of arc that we see when an electrical welding torch is used. Each time the AC sine wave passes through zero, the arc stops. But if the conditions are right, it then re-establishes itself. The arc's temperature and energy can damage the contacts and surrounding equipment. The higher the current, the more energy and burning capacity the arc has. The higher the voltage, the larger the distance that the arc can jump between the contacts. Eventually, as the contacts move far enough apart, the arc can no longer sustain itself. It stops, and the electricity is finally disconnected. 